If you're curious to know what bottles I got this month in the month of August 2024, you're in luck. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad, and today we are going to do our monthly tradition here and do a bourbon haul of all of the bottles that I got in August of 2024. Before we get into all that, I wanted to announce that I officially started a Patreon. If you follow me over on TikTok, you know that the TikTok following is... a lot bigger than it is here over on YouTube. So people on YouTube are probably going like, why is this guy doing a Patreon? He's only got less than 2,000 subscribers because over on TikTok, I've got almost 14,000 and I've had some people reach out to me and ask me if I was going to set up a Patreon. By the way, if you don't care about this, feel free to skip ahead into the actual video here. But this is the first time I've been able to talk about it. So I wanted to get it out in the open. So the Patreon is live right now. The link will be in the description. There are three separate tiers. There are two tiers that are not very expensive. First one is five bucks and it's called the On the Rocks tier where you get access to two bonus videos and two bonus episodes of the podcast that are only available over on Patreon. There are no videos and podcasts up yet over on Patreon. (laughs) I literally started this this week and I am banking content in this recording session for content to be over on Patreon. So I will have two videos and two extra episodes of the podcast for you over on Patreon every single month. I'm trying to do one week of video, one week of podcast, one week of video, one week of podcast. That's my goal. I don't intend anticipate a ton of people going to Patreon, but it's just something that people were asking me if I was going to set up. And so I just decided to finally do it. And it is live now. The second tier is $10 a month. It gives you access to everything at the $5 tier. Plus it gives you access to barrel picks once we start doing those. And I have an announcement coming up about that very soon. And there will be voting for you guys at this tier to tell me what videos you want to see me do. I'll be doing posts there as well. And there is the $75 a month. I want to try that tier. This one is, it's going to sound crazy, but hear me out. It's going to give you everything that the first two tiers do, plus any video that I do a review of, you will get sent a sample for every single thing I try. However, I have limited this tier to only three people. So there are only three people who will get access to this tier. The other ones are unlimited. You can add yourself if you want. It's not going to include the list videos, like when I like one of these where I pull out things. It's only going to be for the the bottles I review. I do more reviews than I do list videos. It's it's actually like a good deal because you're going to be able to get a ton of... I do three videos a week. In theory, you could get 12 samples sent to you if you sign up at this $75 a month here. Now, I don't... I have no plans of changing... The, the schedules, nothing is going to change. Everything is going to go as normal. Uh, so I'm not going to like offer this tier and then pull back on the number of bottles I'm reviewing. That's not going to happen. If you were one of the three people that want to do that. And the reason I, the reason I thought about this is because I looked up what a, a pour of Thomas H handy is by itself. And in all the bars that have it in Orlando, it's like $130 a pour for two ounces. You would get those two ounces sent to your house and it would just cost you your $75 a month. So I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying if you were interested in helping out a smaller creator and you're interested in finding and and having more content from me, that is an option for you now. Patreon is live. That's it. Enough of me talking. Let's get into the list that you guys clicked on the video to see. Let's get to number one. These are in no particular order. Number one, we're going to start with a, a, uh, a bottle that I just did the review of the other day. Uh, Grizzly Beast from Redwood Empire. Kind of an underwhelming pour for me to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I love Redwood Empire, and this one, I think I like other things from them better. I think it's just one of these things where it's like, this just is not my preferred taste palette. Like, I like things from this brand quite a bit, but for me, this one just fell a little bit flat. I think at the price point for this bottle, you could easily find better options inside of Redwood Empire. Uh, If you see it, maybe try it before you buy it because I, I didn't love it. Moving on to the next one. Up next is another bottle. I'm just grabbing these as I see them. Uh, that was super disappointing to me. And I think that's a little bit sacrilegious because I think rye people will really like this bottle quite a bit, but I didn't. Uh, it's the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. I will come back to this at some point. Like I just, I don't love rye whiskey in general, so I'm not surprised that I didn't love it. I, I know I just said I bought a Tom's H. Andy. Tom's H. Andy to me is the best rye whiskey I have 
ever had. Like it's not, for me, it's like not even close. This was exciting to get as far as having it to be part of the shelf and adding it to the collection because I have never seen an Old Forester single barrel, barrel proof rye out in the wild. And when I did, I had to grab it. Moving on to the next one. Man, August was like the month of disappointments, huh? I got my Jack Daniels uh, Tennessee Gold number 27. I don't know if I include this in the last video. I don't think I did. I think I got it this month. Um, this one was super light. Like th this bottle right here was something I wanted just as a Jack Daniels fan because I saw this thing for years and I never purchased it. And I bought it on the secondary. And I'm really glad I own it. I probably... <laughs> Unless somebody comes over and wants to try it because they've heard of it or whatever, or, they, or they've never heard of it and want to see what it's like. It's just an 80 proof Jack Daniels that has a little bit of honey or a, a little bit of maple to it. It's really not a great bottle, but it did come with this cool box. Yay. Yay. Yay me. I overspent on this. It's fine. I'm glad I have it. Uh, I think it's really, really pretty. And I'm a Jack Daniels fan and like fanboy, I guess. I'm a Jack Daniels fanboy. So anything I can add to the collection from Jack Daniels, I will always do it. Moving on to the next one. Oh my God, the disappointment continues. Maker's Mark Cellar Age 22. Are there any good whiskey that I had this month? Yeah, there's a few. Uh, this is Maker's Mark Cellar Age 2024 release. Talk about disappointment, man. I overpaid for this bottle quite a bit. And the reason I did that was because when I found this bottle in the liquor store, there had been no reviews posted online of it. And I literally bought this bottle to be the first review. And if you see the amount of views that it got, it didn't pay off. But I wanted to have it just for the shelf because I'd never seen a Maker's Mark Cellar Age, period, in person. But I didn't like last year's. I didn't like this one. Overly harsh uh, and simplistic for what it should be. And I really think they need to go in a different direction because this ain't it. Moving on to the next one. Finally, something good. Michter's 10-year single barrel bourbon. One of my favorite bottles on my shelf. I love this thing so much. I have to really fight not drinking a lot of this when I drink it because it's so good. It's so crushable. At only 94.4 proof, these things are really low proof. This bottle changed my opinion of low proof bourbon. Makes me go like, wow, you can have something that's low proof and have it be really, really good. I mean, I know my brain knew that, but seeing it in action here with the Michter's 10-year is really game changing. And these bottles are fantastic. If you see these at any at retail or even, you know, I would say maybe $50 over retail, grab these. These are these are absolutely phenomenal. I cannot recommend Michter's 10-year single barrel bourbon any more than I do already. Go find them. Moving on to the next one. This one is a bottle that is like really hard to find in Florida for whatever reason. I've seen it at like two or three liquor stores briefly. It was like they accidentally got sin cases and then it went away. Luckily, I have family that has to pass through South Carolina where these are readily available in the area that is near Charlotte. And they're only like 20 bucks for a liter. Early times, bottled and bond is the best value in all of bourbon, period. You get a liter of Brown Foreman bottled and bond bourbon, and it's like 20, 25 bucks. I paid $17 for it at Total Wine the one time I saw it there. Uh, this this will never leave my shelf. And, and the rare occasions that it has, I bought, I got three of these, by the way. The rare occasion this has not been on my shelf, I have seriously debated on making a road trip to South Carolina to see family and visit Southern Grace Distillery, but also to get a case of early times because this stuff is fantastic. Moving on to the next one. This is a, a Green River single barrel store pick from Five Star here in Orlando, one of the iconic liquor stores in Central Florida. If you are visiting Central Florida, I highly recommend you to visit these guys. They do incredible work. Sam's Barrel Picks. I mean, like, I don't know of a store that does better barrel picks than them. The only people that I could think come close would be Southern Spirits in South Carolina. Uh, they do incredible, incredible barrel picks. But I think Five Star for Florida is just the best you can get for barrel picks. I love this bottle. If everything stays the course and I'm not throwing any crazy curveballs, this bottle's ended up in my top 10 of the year which is crazy because I don't typically like Green River, but this bottle is so good that it has to be included in that conversation. That's how good it is. If you live in Orlando, call Five Star, see if they still have these because you're going to want one of these. Moving on to the last one. <laughs> you ready for this? I was at a, I was at a uh, bourbon drop not too long ago, and they had like the Blantons and the E.H. Taylors, and I restocked on all those. But one of the things they had that I had only seen like photos of or like in people's bourbon hunting videos was the Big Boy Eagle Rare. And I got one. This thing is crazy. <laughs> this thing is huge, man. This only cost me 45 bucks. I had to get it. Uh, I have not opened it yet, as you can see. I don't know if I'm going to, or 
I might get one of those like pour dispenser things and just keep refilling this big bottle with Eagle Rare when and if it goes out. <laughs> so I had to get the, this thing is huge, bro. And keep in mind, I'm like 6'3". This takes up most of my torso. Yeah, you can see next to the regular Eagle Rare how, 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 how massive this thing is. But that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. Please make sure you leave a like, comment down below. We can hit 2,500 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm going to do a three allocated bottle giveaway at the end of the year. If we can hit 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, cheers.